In this video let us see all formulas in DC circuits. One, resistance, the property of the material due to which it opposes or restricts the flow of current through it, is called resistance. The unit of resistance is ohm. It is given as R equal to rho into L by A, where rho is the resistivity or specific resistance of the conductor in ohm meter. L is the length of the conductor in meter. A is the area of cross section in meter square. Two. Resistivity, it is the resistance per unit length and cross-sectional area. The unit of resistivity is ohm meter. It is given as, rho equals, A into R, whole divided by L. Where, R is the resistance, L is the length of the conductor, A is the area of cross-section. 3. Electric current, the rate at which the electric charge is transferred across a point in a conductor is known as the current flowing through the conductor. The unit of electric current is ampere. It is given as, I equals, Q divided by T. Where, Q is the electric charge in coulombs. Where 1 coulomb equals, 6.242 into 10 to the power of 18 electrons. T is the time in seconds. 4. Ohm's law. The Ohm's law states that, temperature remaining constant, the current through a passive element is directly proportional to the voltage across the element. Where, I proportional to R. V over I equals, constant, nothing but R. Therefore, V equals, I into R, or, I equals, V over R. Where, V is the voltage across the element. I is the current through the element. R is the resistance of the element. 5. Series circuit. The series circuit in which resistances are connected end to end, so that there is only one path for current flow, is called series circuit. Figure shows a series circuit, where, R1, R2 and R3 are connected in series and a voltage of V volts is applied at the extreme ends A and B to cause a current of I amperes to flow through all these resistors. In series circuit, 1. The same current flows through all the resistances. 2. There will be a voltage drop across each resistance. 3. The sum of the voltage drops is equal to the applied voltage. Thus, when a number of resistors are connected in series, the equivalent resistance is given by the arithmetic sum of their individual resistances. 6. Voltage division between two resistors. Let us consider the circuit which deals with the division of voltage between only two resistors connected in series. Given the supply voltage V, we need to find the voltage drop across the resistor R1. The total resistance of the circuit is R equals R1 plus R2. Hence, the current in the circuit is I equals V divided by R1 plus R2. The voltage drop across the resistor R1 is given by I R1 equals V divided by R1 plus R2 into R1 equals V1. V1 divided by V equals R1 divided by R1 plus R2. 7. Parallel circuits. When a number of resistors are connected in such a way that one end of each of them is joined to a common point, and the other end of each of them is joined to another common point, then the resistors are said to be connected in parallel and such circuits are known as parallel circuits. In these circuits, current is divided into as many parts as the number of resistors. Let I1, I2 and I3 be the currents in resistors R1. R2 and R3 respectively. I equals I1 plus I2 plus I3. Therefore, 1 over R equals 1 over R1, plus 1 over R2, plus 1 over R3. 8. Current distribution in parallel circuits. Let two resistors R1 and R2 be connected in parallel across a potential difference of V volts. As per Ohm's law, the current flowing through resistor R1 is I1 equals V over R1. Current through R2 is I2 equals V over R2. 
Therefore, I1 equals I multiplied by R2 over R1 plus R2. Similarly, I2 equals I multiplied by R1 over R1 plus R2. Let us now consider three resistors in parallel, connected across a voltage. The total current is I equals I1 plus I2 plus I3. Therefore, the current through each resistor is given below. Nine, Kirchhoff's current law. In any network of wires carrying currents, the sum of incoming currents towards any point is equal to the sum of outgoing currents away from that point. That is, I1 plus I2 equals I3 plus I4 plus I5 plus I6. Or, in any network of wires carrying currents, the algebraic sum of all currents meeting at a point is zero. That is. I1 plus I2 minus I3 minus I4 minus I5 minus I6 equals 0. 10. Kirchhoff's voltage law. In any closed circuit or mesh, the algebraic sum of voltage drops plus the algebraic sum of all the EMFs in that circuit is 0. IR1 plus IR2 plus IR3 equals V. V1 plus V2 plus V3 equals V. Algebraic sum of EMFs plus algebraic sum of voltage drops equals zero. 11. Electrical work. In an electrical circuit, there is movement of electrons which constitutes flow of current. This movement of electrons results in transfer of charge. Electrical work is done when there is a transfer of charge. The unit of electrical work is joule. Electrical work is W equals V into Q, which is equals to VIT joules, where V is the potential difference in volts, Q is the charge in coulombs, T is the time in seconds. 12. Electrical power. The rate at which electrical work is done in an electrical circuit is called electrical power. The unit of power is what? Electrical power is P equals electrical work done. Divided by time, that is, W over T, which is equals to, VIT, divided by T. Therefore, P equals V into I, in joules per second, that is nothing but watts. 13. Electrical energy. The total amount of electrical work done in an electrical circuit is called electrical energy. The unit of electrical energy is joule or, watt second. Electrical energy equals power into time. Therefore, W equals V into I into T in joules or watt seconds. 14. Power and energy using Ohm's law. The below expressions are used to calculate the power consumed in the various parts of an electric circuit. Thank you, and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe Rough Book.